Welcome to this video, dear grade 12 students. In this video, we are going to discuss the use of modal verbs. And this is grammar of unit eight, student book page 117, workbook page 77. We are going to discuss how to use modal verbs in order to express ability, requests, asking for permission, offers, and suggestions. Let's begin with how to use modal verbs to express ability. In order for you to express ability, you can use can, and this can can be used to express ability either in the present or the future. Please read this question. They can speak English fluently. Does this sentence express the present or the future? You are correct. How about the next one? They could read before they went to school. How about the tense here? It is in the past. You are correct. Now the main question is, is there any difference between could and was able to? Please stop here and think of the difference. Done? Now let's start from here. How about this little cutie? She is reading. Very good. She could read when she was five years old. This could in this sentence expresses general, repeated, past action. But how about this situation? She was able to write the essay yesterday. Now, what is the difference between the two sentences, this one and that one? You have already known that the first sentence expresses general and repeated action. So how about the next one? The next one expresses specific and a single action. Please pay attention to this. We can use the negative forms, can't and couldn't, in order to express inability. But pay attention also to the fact that the negative forms couldn't and wasn't able to express both general and specific past action. Now, dear student, please stop this video and test yourself. Here you are only four questions. Done, okay. Take the feedback, double check your answers. Here you are with the scaffolding right here. The first sentence up there expresses ability either in the present or the future. So this is why we use can. And the second one expresses inability. This is why we used cannot or can't. And the third one expresses single past action. So this is why we used was able to. And the fourth question expresses past repeated action. This is why we used couldn't. Now let's move to the second part of our lesson, which is to use modal verbs in order to express requests. That gentleman over here is trying to carry a heavy bag and he needs help. So we can use can. Can you help me with my bag, please? And this person, perhaps he wants someone else to hold the juice for him. So he can use this expression could plus possibly. And this is supposed to be more polite. Could you possibly hold my drink for a while? OK. Let's go to the third point, which is to use modal verbs in order to ask for permission. In this picture, perhaps a cutie like this boy wants to ask permission from his dad to have lunch outside or dinner out or something. He can use either can or may. Dad, can I dine out with my friends tonight? Sorry, dear, it's curfew. You know that in curfews, we cannot move in the streets. We cannot go to restaurants 
and things like this. But is there any difference now between the use of can and may? Yes, there is. We use may to be more polite and more formal. Point number four, concerning offers. We can use can, would, or shall to offer any help to somebody. For example, this father wants to offer help to his son do his homework. He can use an expression like this. Can I help you with your homework? Or would you like me to help you with your homework? In another situation, if I want to help my friend, for example, to join the exercise class, I can use such an expression. Would you like me to help you join the cardio exercise class? In another situation, this gentleman is ironing his shirt. I can say, shall I iron this shirt for you? Or would you like me to iron this shirt for you? About suggestions, our last point in the lesson is how to use modal verbs in order to express suggestions. To suggest something, we can use either can or could. Concerning this librarian, she wants to suggest to the clever student right here to borrow the book. She can use such a sentence. You can borrow that book if you like. How about one of these two guys who wants to suggest to his friend to go to school walking? He can use an expression like this. We could walk to school together tomorrow if you like. You can also say, why don't we borrow that book? For example, in this situation, we can also say, let's walk to school tomorrow. Let's. And we can also use an expression like, how about walking to school tomorrow? But the point is, these three expressions do not include a modal verb. So this is why we are stressing the use of can and could in such situations. Please, before you leave this video, take this question. What is the function of can in these five sentences? Think of them and refer to the previous slides for feedback if you need. Last but not least, this is your homework. Thank you so much for watching and wish you all the best.